Okay, it is Holy Thursday today, Thursday the 18th of April 2019, and this is the unveiling of the Fright Zone. Um, the music I've got in the background is coincidentally called, coincidentally called um, Entering the Fright Zone, which I think is appropriate for this unveiling. Now, this um, toy, um, this is um, this is one of my Masters of the Universe toys I got back when I was a kid. I think for Christmas in 1986. Um, yeah, could have been 85. Not quite sure. It's 86. Um, yep, and um, I enjoyed it. Yeah, for a few months, and it was put away in a box and. Um, forgotten about for over 30 years um, recently I've opened up that box and um, like um, thought yeah may as well set it up just see if everything's still in one piece and for the most part it is a um, few little bits that are busted off like this bit here um, that's part of the tree that goes somewhere here I guess yeah or something like that, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, something like that. Um, but yeah, um, and this little owl there, which, um, well, whatever it is. Can't get it, yeah, the light's not good. Let's see if I can put on an extra light. Yeah, that's better, yep. some reason it's not focusing that I have no idea why which is really annoying maybe I'll put it somewhere else let's see yep uh, there you go I want to get every single detail here Kind of annoying when your phone doesn't focus the way it should. Okay, yep, so that's that. There we go, I think that's a bit better. Okay, now let's have a look at the fright zone. It's got these little, this is the horde, this is, sorry, this is the lair of the evil horde, which is actually more associated with Shearer than He-Man. The evil horde were, was a um, tall one made for Masters of the Universe, but never um, made it in the series. Um, never made it in the He-Man series, but when the spin-off Shira Princess of Power made, the Horde was made as the villains for that, um, um, yeah, for, for, for the spin-off. Which is basically why in the background I've got Shira music playing just to, you know, um, make it more appropriate. Um, now let's have a look um, at what this, yeah, contraption does. This little, um, that's a trap door where you trap your figurines in. I, I can't be bothered getting my figurines out. Um, I'm sure you'd be smart enough to figure out how that works, but yep. You just open up this gate and, yeah, like, um, hand. Yeah, like it's supposed to work like that. It probably doesn't work as, I'm sure it worked a lot better back in the day. Well, let me try that again. Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, the snake's kind of in the way. Um, let's try that once more. Let's see. Third time's a charm, eh? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now this here, seeing that we've got this is a, some sort of trap in the floor. Who uh, can make your future um, secure? Okay, yep, 
see. So um, yep, this is a trap. So the figurines, um, yeah, if you put them there, yeah, they basically flip over or something like that. So that's that okay, now this here is a snake. Um, there's a snake in the flight game series. I mean, I can't be part of that. I know it's Snake Mountain that had the snake all around the mountain, but yeah. Now yeah, that's the flight game that's out. And I'll show you a clip of that in a sec. But yeah. Um, it's a little bit tricky. See how this works. Kind of. Yeah, I can't get it, but yeah, basically you put your hand in that, and it's basically like a hand puppet. You know, they don't really make it. You know, that friendly for. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty much only do it as a kid. Your mom's too big to go in it, but yeah. Um, Let's see. Um, hang on. Yeah. This is probably getting frustrating if I can't do it. I can't even balance my phone, so, you know, because it's out of the case. Oh, there we go, huh? There you go. Um. See, so it's kind of like a hand puppet sort of thing. And yeah, you can just do what you'd normally do with a hand puppet. So yeah. So yeah, you can do that. Um, I'm sure I'm not getting the best camera angles. But yeah. It's kind of hard to do this solo. You kind of get the gist. Okay, now this is going to be the fun bit, trying to get my hand out of it. Sorry for focusing that. Yeah, oh, there we go. There we go, yeah. Okay, now I'm going to show you the box this came in. But before I um, do that, I know I'll, I'll show you the box, yeah. Okay, yep, so, so this is the box that came in. So you can actually see it as it should be. Um, it's, it's very colourful. Um, yeah, back in those days, for um, those that weren't around, um, Everything was really colourful back then. That's all you gotta love about it. See, so you can see how it kind of works here. It's a bit more animated, but yeah, you see Skeletor's trapped in the tree there, or vines, whatever. There's Hordak, who's the leader of the Horde. Um, but I won't get into the full history of it. There's um, He-Man. Um, got Buzz off trapped in the gate there. Um, and see, this is a diagram of the um, yeah, kid playing with it. So you can kind of see how it works when it's all yeah, fixed up. Um, 
God, I miss those hairstyles, so I miss them. Because they were pretty awesome back then, anyway. Um, okay, yep. Yeah. I'm going to show you the rest of the box. Um, hey, let's see. There we go, there's the top of the box. I just want to get everything in as much detail as possible. Okay, yep. Okay, yep, so this shows a diagram of um, the flight zone. Um, I'm just doing a quick thing if you want to see exactly. Um, yeah, you can just pause it, you know. And basically, what they used to do back in those days whenever they released um, like um, figures that, I mean, um, always on the back of the packets, you'd see at like um, little, I guess, adverts showing the other figures you could get, you know. Funny and yeah, none of these are actually yeah in the hoard or in related. Oh, actually, I shouldn't say that. Yeah, these are the hoard figures, you know, which are relevant to the fight team. Um, now you'll see uh, Modulike. He was actually he was originally. In he man's words, a later episode, but then yeah, he defected, yeah, and yeah, went into Shira. So yeah, you have to watch the um, series to see how that all played out. Night Stalk was never used in either series, um, which it was. Either was the Bashasaurus. So you got Snake Mountain in here, which looked nothing like Snake Mountain in the cartoon, but you know. Castle Greyskull looked pretty close, yeah. Was, yeah, that was a good representation. So that's pretty much... Yeah, that's the gist of it, but... What I'll show you, just for a bit of um, comparison, you've pretty much seen... Um, yeah, you've seen the toy of the Fright Zone. Show you a clip of what it was actually like in the cartoon, uh, and you'll see the difference. So just have a quick look from what you can see. Well, that's the Whispering Woods, but heading to the front zone. Yeah, there we go. No worry, the writing will be off the screen soon. Seen clips from the Shira card in, but... Well, actually, yeah, this part isn't going quite so well. They're not showing you proper clips. Okay, it's a little bit annoying because, um, yeah, I don't want to see, um, you know, one. oh, that's a horde trooper, yeah, but. Oh, what are just, oh, I thought they were going to say panning shots off the right side, they obviously aren't doing that. Um... Oh well, um, yeah. Watch the Shira series, and you'll see you'll see the um, what the fright zone actually looks like. Okay, well, 
I hope you got something out of that. Um, Actually, there might be something I can... Um, there might be something I can use. Um, huh. Just bear with me a sec. For people like Jade, the National Disability Insurance Scheme is a great social reform, which is transforming... Let's see... See, so you can tell this is off the cuff, I'm not really, um, yeah, um, you know, kind of doing this solo, it's not that easy. Just give me a sec. Alright, you might get a fish off the fright zone here. Sure, oh, that's be something. So I'm just flicking through this. Um, I mean, I'm sure there is a picture, but just when you want to find it, you won't be able to find it. Um, Okay, this is a little bit annoying. I don't have to go through every single thing. Oh uh, yeah, you get, uh, okay, here we go. Uh, Oh well, I might end it there because I'm not really finding what I'm looking for, but um, yeah, hopefully you got something out of that. So I will catch you later.